so we will now. We got another stone door. Oh, this could be good. This looks like something that could help translate secrets. Let's see. Uh, I wonder what this means. What? Oh, this feels so important. So there's actually nine, I realize, can we push these? Ah, we can. So, oh, this is gonna hurt my brain. How are we gonna do this? <laughs> so there are nine spots on the floor if you're looking from the top down. And I have a feeling if you can make these shapes, so if we pick up one of these and toss them, okay? Does it go to the front? No, it goes, why does it go to the middle though? Can we stack them on each other? Oh, this is big. This this feels like big, big revelation. Can I throw this up here? See, why, why would it go in a diagonal line like that though? Can we throw them on top of each other? So do we want to make them flat, or do we want to make... I think we want to make them flat, because... Will this kill me? Can I pick this up? So they seem to like to lock in place. I can't pick them up now is the problem. I'm going to fuck myself by doing that. I just, I want to, okay, what, holy shit, <laughs> I'm just not used to the controls. Drop it! Gomez. I want to push this here. Yeah, I know. I wonder what the symbols mean, too. So that's the... If I die, will it reset everything? This is not... I don't know, I thought that would, like, kill me. If I go in the door, will it reset everything? Actually, that symbol... Fuck, I should've st <laughs> Ah, okay, it does reset everything. So, where are they placed? They're placed on opposite corners. So, I need to... Can I push this? Yeah. The thing now, though, is if I push this, oh my, I can see these puzzles getting very complicated. I can, they push into each other, because... How do I do this? <laughs> how do I want to do this? Well, let's make this shape again, just to confirm that it doesn't need to be on top of each other. Because we can do this, and then we can do this. No! Are we just fucked when it's on top of each other like that? Maybe not. Maybe. I've got an idea. I'm, I'm so... I'm so... I want to figure stuff out early, because I hate, like, watching back. Can you let me jump through here? Can I grab off of you? No. I have to be, like, flush against it, it looks like. Did I fuck this up already? God fucking damn it. I... Wait, wait. Where is this placed in... 3D in top-down space. 
So if I push it right here, it'll go into the middle. Okay, so this is this is actually wait, this will work. Is that gonna squish me? Oh, they can go behind each other. Okay, so let's see if this works. No, you motherfucker. So, when you push two, it slides... I don't know if that's intentional or not, but... I do not know if the game liked me doing that just then. Okay, th can we jump up? We can make that jump. So, can I just drop it? I can. I can place it down. Shit, this isn't on the... Ro okay. So, this... If it's 3D based, this symbol should do something. Like if it's vertical, but I have a feeling it's not. <laughs> so, how do we want to do this? The thing is, I can't push them on top of each other. Or can I? See, that time I just did. <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> Wait, I pushed... <laughs> I would wish I could watch that back on my own stream. I'll have to watch that back. Okay. So it did make it vertically and look there. What does this do for me? I got a cube, but not the gold cube. A different cube. An anti-cube? Holy shit! <laughs> For every cube, there's an anti- Okay, so there's actually 27 times 2, so there's 54. Uh, Anti-cubes are much harder to find than regular cubes. Are there four anti-cubes in this area? Only two. It looks like probably only two, but we'll, we'll... I might have gotten that completely fucking by accident. Holy shit, I did. How can I... Can I clip... Uh, I can't watch that back! I... Oh! I know why it worked. So, from one perspective, it looked like the this symbol. But from these perspectives... It's got to look like it from all four sides. So, to have that be possible, that is so interesting. I can't believe I got that by accident. <laughs> I mean, I understand now how it worked, but... So, from this, it, it had to be... Let me draw it. So it was a three by, th it's a three by three grid from the top. From one side, it has to look like, uh, like this. Oh my God, the music gets so loud sometimes. And then from like this side, it needs to look like this. I'm just trying to show my thought process here. So, and then this side, it's got to look like, can't be like this or this. So basically, oh, wait, I should go to Streamlabs so this isn't delayed. Uh, it has to look like the correct thing from the correct side. So the placement of the cubes would need to be, let me think. Uh, two cubes here in the back middle, relatively, and then like a cube here and a cube here. Okay, so if you look at this, I can make myself big again. If we look at this and you imagine the 
the double hash marks are where the two are. Depending on which way you're looking at it, like from the each perspective, you'll get the correct shape in a 2D perspective. So that all checks out, and I got the full thing without actually doing it. I just I got lucky when I was trying to make one of them, and I made uh, the second shape. But that's pretty cool. Okay, so we we did that. Um, kind of awesome. Okay, I'm, I'm digging it so far. That's pretty exciting. So we figured that... I think we're done with that area now. So there's... Uh, yeah. Let's go to... Let's go back... We could go there. Let's go back to the bell and go to this tree area and see if we can figure out what the puzzle is. I don't know if the puzzles are, like, consistent or they're abstracted from one another. Like, there's some consistent puzzling going about. Where's the other door? There it is. Will this kill me? Okay. Like, in the sense that, you know, like, will there be, will there be more puzzles where you have to rotate like that, or are all the puzzles unique? Which would be much harder. <laughs> oh, the bell symbols. Now we can compare. To... So this down symbol we actually have, it looks like a kind of, like... Uh, a line with the little notch at the top. Um, this might be cheating. I do have a piano. We are going to literally translate these into letters. Oh yeah, left control. Bum. A2 because I don't know if it'll uh, extend above an octave I don't know if the letters will matter but then we, we can still compare uh... okay this one which we do have this one's like a, a side rotated 90 degrees Z piece Z piece Z Bum. Is an F. An F1, so it's lower than the first. Uh, then we have this shape. We do not have the equivalent shape to it yet. So I will draw it uh, with a little corner piece. Bum. G1. G1. Um, let me just check something quickly. Keyboard number octaves. I'm curious. Uh, zero. Does it start at C? Oh, it starts at C. So I actually might have fucked that up. So, wait. <laughs> so, it's... So, one, two, three, four, five. this is one, this is two, so this is G and F2. I always forget if it starts at C or A, it does start at C. So these are G and F2, and then this last side, which we also don't have, I am running out of space. But I'll probably move these notes somewhere. Let's listen. Oh. Stream cut out for a sec there. That was weird. Um, or for me, at least. Maybe it's because I'm watching my own stream. But is that lower or higher than the other ones, though? Let me. It should be lower. I can't tell if it's the lower octave. That's this one. I can't 
can't. It's a little below my range. Let me separate these. We could do them in order, which would be C, F, G, A. I don't know if that would... C... I mean, it's a bell that makes noise. I'm saying, like, would they include sounds for a geometry-based game? What does that mean, though? It could literally be letters. They did show the alphabet, so... A, F, G, and C. Bum. Okay, we'll, we'll, come, we'll come back to the... Ah, but there is... What other order could we do it in? We could spell something. No. What is it? It's... We could do the uh, MBC theme. F. That, that'd be stupid, but we could. <laughs> So it'd be C, C, A, F. <laughs> oh, that's a dumb. Okay. Hey. <laughs> um, I don't even know. What, what area was I trying to go to? This is the tree, the tree. We're trying to figure out this tree puzzle. Uh. <laughs> I want to get these anti-cube. So these purple areas seem to go to the anti-cube areas. Perhaps. Let me write let me write those notes down. Purple equals anti-cube? Question mark. <laughs> so what do we have the only thing We don't know how to input things yet. That was a thing with Tunic. The golden cross was how you typed in... Spoilers. I already said it, but... You would type in... Codes. And I'm wondering if there's an equivalent way to do that. See, like, in... So... The night sky, this is something I've noticed, has a significant number of these symbols. So we've got uh, te tetrominos, tetrominos, whatever. Um, we have the T piece. Let me, let me check the names. I want to be saying the right names. Tetronimo, tetrominos, tetra tetrominos, tetrominos, tetromino, tetrominos. T L skew. No one calls it skew. T, I guess you could rotate them. Block, T, L, reverse L, zig, zigzag, Z. I might just call it a Z piece. Z really applies for pentominoes, like five pieced uh, things. I guess I have two of my streams up at the same time. Um, oh, tetromino pronunciation. Tetromino. It is tetromino. It's not tetramino. What the fuck am I talking about? So, <laughs> that was cool. I've never noticed that before. The pause menu. Actually, how do you get to the pause menu? Doesn't... Well, I guess it will matter. So this is an interesting... This shape is the door shape that we've seen. And we saw it in the room alongside the square with the box on the inside. Um, there's a lot of T tetronomos, there's some block tetronomos, and there's a ZP. Oh, dude, that. Oh, maybe that's the. But 
how would we input that in like a puzzle way? I mean, here's partially what I'm thinking, which is a little crazy now. This is getting very meta. The arrow keys, the I, J, K, and L keys, and the WASDA keys all make up that T tetronimo that we've seen so often. Does it have any significance? Am I losing? Am I going crazy? Can we go in there somehow? Like, what would be the benefit of going underneath there? So there is stuff there at night. Ah. So, this is the main big, big hub. Oh, we can get to somewhere. I am curious to get all the way back here. I think I will try to, because I don't, I'm not, this isn't clicking with my brain. I can see that it's a 3D, you know, the tree is a 3D shape, but again... I don't know how to really, like, input things. Like, I could type with the... Like, but I, can, I can't rotate up and down right now. Ah! <laughs> uh. Um... Is there anything down underneath? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, we will continue. Oh, fuck me. I should have just died. <laughs> Could have made it easier to... Uh... It's weird that they're, like, solid, but you can go through all of them. They're all, like, pass-through blocks, I guess. I know what I'd call them, I guess, in games. Yeah, like, you can go through from the bottom. Which I wouldn't expect from these types of blocks, because they're all 3D. <laughs> but I guess because we're in the 2D plane. This fucking bell. A, F, G, C, or like low, low, middle, middle, high, high. Oh yeah, these these two fucking drift. Come come back here. Okay, there's a, there's a doorway up here, right? Yeah. There's the bell room. I'm a very impatient person, unfortunately, so I do wish some of this went faster. I wish you could move a little faster, but maybe I should be less impatient. I do like you can jump while you're on the vines. You don't have to just slowly climb. Let me put this to the side. Uh, oh, fuck. Now we have to do this again? That's like a little annoying. Come on. Yeet. Okay, so we can't just push up to to go through instead of rotating twice. So I will keep that in mind. See, would looking at the uh, would looking at the settings be cheating? Because how the fuck I don't know how to access the options menu. Oh, well, that's one way to do it. See controls. Oh, pause is enter. There's definitely so much more. <gasps> that scared the shit out of me. I I, I killed Gomez. Um. Okay. So this area, I like the little guy. 
We need to go to the back area and do we find a door here? This underneath area feels like there's something with the golden blocks feels important. Again, I might have just brain rot from too much uh, from tunic. <laughs> Oh wait, no, that's where the, uh... Ah, these ba the background constellations are killer. Because I know they're for something. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go through again. It's like, oh, my brain. So there, there's a second door somewhere that we haven't gotten here. That presumably will be important. Well, th okay. Well, there's our teleport door. Why didn't I use that? Oh, because I wanted to check a different area. But that.